this isn't just a train to rail. This thing is on its freaking side. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays, and welcome back to more Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. Let's mechanize some trains. It's like the Hard Rock Cafe in here with this music playing in the background. I'm hoping that we get to see some of the different other workshops, too. What do we got over here? We, remember, we had job order number four. The main railway station informed us that a locomotive pulling passenger cars has not arrived on time. Check to see what happened. Looked like we're going out into the world, boys. We're going to have to take our train and solve all the planet's problems. While we're at it, actually, when we get back, I think we'll spend some of our money. Because if you remember, we have some cash. That's not what I wanted to do at all. We have some cash. That's what I wanted to do. 2700 bucks to be exact. So we can start increasing some of these different hydraulics, uh, mechanics, and electrical workbenches. What we'll probably do is we'll find out what this next train needs to get fixed, and then we'll work on improving the bench that fixes it to the outdoors and beyond. All right, and the very calming and beautiful music begins to play. Find the derailed train. Oh my god, it's derailed. How do you fix that as another train? Uh, near the coast, square E4. So let's go ahead and check out the map here. E4, where in the universe is this thing going to be? So B, C, D, E, 4. Okay, so it looks like we're taking city, road to diesel engine depot, up to Eastport, maybe? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Man, after playing Train Sim World... This is like very, very simplistic and relaxing. All you have to do is press the button and we're off. Let's see, we're either gonna go to Westport or Coastal Valley. Not really sure. Doesn't seem to be that far away though, no matter what. So here we are, we are, oh, hold on. Yep, you knew it, you knew it. There's the train passing past the mountainside sun glistening off the top looking freaking sweet oh wow this is I, I don't think i've ever gone this way so we've got palm trees and what are those hydro thingamabobs over there we'll use the hydro and make power and whatnot whoa okay hold on here whoa 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 holy crap uh i think we found it boys okay Th hold on this isn't just a train to rail this thing is on its freaking side. How do we, how do we repair this? Press X to start the crane mode. This game has a crane mode? Okay. Uh, I never messed with a crane before. So boom, W and S, rotate A and D. Oh God. It's like freaking quap all over again. Q and E for the height. Oh no. Oh God. Aim the hook toward the grappled, mounted on the derailed train, then press C to hitch, unhitch the hook. Okay. Uh, all right. So, oh God. All right. So this is, oh, oh wow. This is a, we have a legit freaking crane on the back. Okay. So that's that over there. Q and E for the height. We're going to need more height here, I do believe. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Let me. Where the heck? Where's the grap? Oh, the grapples. Of course it is. The grapples on this side of the of the train. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Okay. Still though, that's pretty crazy. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and start rotating like this in here. We can extend this thing, right? Cause the grapple is pretty far away. Right about there, and then line let's see here rotate object attach hook boom okay let's see oh there we go got it w and s right over here oh man oh god okay yes okay good now we just have to drop the line with the parenthesis or whatever in the world it's called and ho oh, there we have it okay now we've got it our orientation of the train with respect oh no oh no so, okay. So now I guess we we retract the boom or I, okay. Nope, that's not what, yeah, I think that's what you want to do. Hold on here. And bloop. There we have it. There you go. Okay. Oh, it's time for the guessing game to start, boys. It is time for the guessing game to start here. Let's see how we're going to do this. All right. Train gets lifted up. 
There we go. I can't believe this. We are lifting a train with a crane. I mean, how heavy? How heavy would this freaking train be? All right, boys. We freaking we freaking got this. We got this. Hold on now. Just kind of line it right up here like this. No big deal. Uh, okay. Rotate the train a little bit. Oh, 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 come on, baby. Get on that freaking track. You know what to do. You know what to do. Get on the track. Extend the arm out. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on now. Hold on now. We're getting there. We're getting there. A little bit over, I think. Hold on. Oh, wow. This is, wow, this is a real, this is really something else here. Okay, okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. That's gotta, oh my god. Come on. Come on, right about, okay, right about there. Boom goes over. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking freaking good. Hold on. Move the angle a little bit. Yes. Yes. Okay, now uh, I'm pretty sure all we need to do is just drop it, right? Right? Right there. Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, we did it, boys! There it is! It is now a part of the train. Freaking sweet. So now all we have to do is go back to the train depot. Um, I guess we could probably go in reverse if we wanted to, right? Freaking do this stuff. Here we go. And there you have it, boys. Another successful train recovery. Well, another. My very first successful train recovery. Well, my only train recovery. Whatever. Let's get back into the city over here. Where the skyscrapers, well, they're not even really skyscrapers. Well, I guess they are. It's not, it's weird because you got like log cabins over here and then you have skyscrapers. It's very strange, very interesting. Anyway, let me go ahead and slow down here as we pull into the city and we will ease our glorious train inside. The damaged vehicle has been restored properly and towed it to the workshop. Let's find out what happened to this poor thing. I gotta tell you, if it's a rail, there's probably all kinds of issues with it. I wonder if you have to do body work in this game as well. Or if it's all- Oh. No. The engine appears to be- Okay, it appears that the problem is the damaged engine mountings in both trucks. We're only making 500 bucks off of this? You gotta be kidding me. Look at the size of this job, guys. Alright, well. Um. Sure. Let's go ahead and take the body off of here. And we'll take a look. I can already see some craptastic engine mountings or whatever the hell they are right over there. Oh, wow. They are all the way around. Who allowed this to happen? What, core, what, what kind of dirt bag over here wasn't doing his job? Should be a maintenance guy, shouldn't there? Let's see over here. We'll, we'll do the testing mode, though, just to make doubly sure that this is going to be the problem. It sure is. Oh, how bad has it gotten? Hold on here. How do you... Uh, there it is. Center of the camera. That's what I like. Engine at 31%, huh? All right. So I do believe, or I would imagine, that the exact same thing is true over here. Yep, sure is. 4%! Someone could have been instantly slain. This is terrible. It's six problems, though. So there's more to it than this. Oh, I think I might know what it is. Hold on here. So let's go ahead and continue to test this one. All right, that's another one all busted up, and this one right over here, another engine mounting gone. So what else? Let me see here. Is it going to be the uh, the mounting brackets, I assume? Ah, yes. The mounting brackets are also shot over there. I could see it, and I think that that's it. I think that those are all the parts, isn't there? When there's six? So these, bra these mounting brackets look like they're in okay condition. We'll check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this has got to be, these are all good. That's six pieces. All right, boys, let's go ahead and start disassembling the crap. Need to get this, this and done over here. Let's go ahead and center ourselves up. Oh, nice. Wow, there's not even anything we have to do. I thought maybe we'd have to take off like a hundred different things. Now, the other thing that we can look into is speeding up our wrench, but I think I'm going to do the workbenches first. And the reason why is because if I really, really need to, I can fast forward past this part, and you guys don't have to deal with it. So only, only poor Gray has to deal with it. Let's go back over here. Although, some of you guys enjoy this stuff. It's kind of funny. I've had people be like, no, Gray, show us every bolt that you take off. Don't cut it out. But if you're watching a train mechanic simulator, maybe that's what you're here for. I don't know. I'm here to uh, 
to grow my brain, to use the power of, of my mind to fix digital items. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Maybe one day, some somewhere, some guy will be like, all right, everyone in attendance over at Starbucks, if anyone here can repair an engine mounting bracket on my diesel train, I will give you $70 billion. And I could be like, I saw it in a video game one time. I, I think maybe possibly I could do this. All right. So the first bracket is off. Let's go ahead, and, or the second one, I should say. Let's go ahead and head over here. The fuel tank, can you mess with this? Oh, you sure can. That's cool. We haven't had to mess with the fuel tank yet. Over here by this engine mounting piece of illustriousness. Now, the, the sad part is that you have to take off the uh, mounting brackets no matter what. So even though the other ones were good, in order to get this this piece off, you have to you have to take these. Now I will say, it does the game does give you a pretty good idea of what has to come off first when it highlights stuff, which is good. Um, what some people might enjoy though, and by some people I mean probably not me because well, if I do enough of this game, I may become like instinctually good enough to realize what in the hell I'm doing. But some people might not even want it highlighted. There should be like a hard mode to this game. Where you make like even more money or something like that, but on the on the other side, you don't get any of the hints on where on what objects come off first. This way, uh, people who are uh, legit train fanatics can really test their knowledge. I don't know though. Is there any other game with this many train parts in it? I struggle to think that there is. This motor casing looks a little beat up. Very unusual. I don't think that that's gonna be one of our parts though. Let's go back over here. To this last engine mounting and I think that we are well hold on now let me let me let me get this stuff off we're gonna take a look quick quick look see all right that's all the parts engine mounting engine brackets six pieces I would assume the mechanics workbench for this so our chance to repair actually on a lot of this stuff is look at this hundred percent right over there on that bracket hundred percent on this bracket so just the engine mounting. So let's see what happens. Hold on now. Let's see what happens if we put some money into improving our workshop here. Not the screw gun, but the mechanics workbench. Let's go ahead and improve it right there. Oh, it goes up each time. All right. So we've, we're going from 66%. Wow. Ho, oh, oh, wow. Okay. I thought it would only give you like maybe another 5%, but it legit goes up all the way. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and repair this. We have a 100% repair chance in basically all this stuff now. And I think that's going to save us a ton of money. Well, not a ton, but usually like buying the part is substantially more than fixing it. Like these electric motor mounting brackets. Actually, let's do the engine mounting. So the engine mounting is 1024 to repair. This one here down at 20. So let's go check the um let's go check the tablet real quick over here. So for over here, we have an engine. Oh, hold on now. Okay, so right over here, the engine mounting, 1,600 bucks, man. So it is worth it all day to repair this because we're saving $600 on that. And we're, we're saving more on this one because remember, we would have to fix this no matter what. Even if it was at, even if it was in, the, you know, this one's in the red, but this one's only in the orange. So it costs less to repair, but it costs the exact same amount to buy new, man. So, we're saving big money by doing this. All right, let's get this stuff repaired. Boom shakalaka. Let's go ahead and throw it back into the train and get her off and going. Installation mode. Looks like we're going to want this engine mounting bracket right over here. Go ahead and put her down. There we have it. Couple of screws and bolts go in. No big deal. All right, that was one. We've got a couple of the mounts over here. Let's go ahead and throw the old mounts down. I'm going to go ahead and center up here because we're a little bit off kilter there we go man eight bolts for this thing huh eight bolts i can click i can quickly see why increasing the speed of your wrench is pretty valuable though in fact you know what hold on let's let's see let's see what it does i'll buy one level of it we'll do it there we go 800 bucks so how good is it let's find out Um, I don't know, man. Do you guys, do you guys see a real difference? I'm not really that sure if I see a, like a super difference. Kind of, kind of feels mostly the same. In fact, I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. I can definitely say that buying the repair options are worth it, though. Oh, wow, going from 66 to 100 is, like, exactly what I wanted to see. All right, you big, beautiful bracket, get in there. Oh, yeah. So sweet. So delicious. Yes. Couple of bubbles. Maybe it is going a little bit faster. All right. I guess I can see that. Let's go ahead and hop over to the other truck. We've only got a couple more parts, and then we're out of here. Uh, we'll put this one on first because I feel like it. Go ahead and center on up. There we go. And the last one. Hold on. Let me see if I can get see if I can get the big bomb down here. There it is. Yes. The final engine mounting. I want to check something too because I'm curious if my eyes are deceiving me. Notice how I'm not really sure what that is. The the engine cover or something like that. You notice how it looks very rusted. I wonder if we click on it if it won't be if it'll be less than like 90% but not bad enough that we have to fix it. Hold on. I'm curious. So, the engine mounting cover, 97. All right, I guess I was just wrong. It just looked all rusted up, but maybe not. Drive gear's at 91, so that's kind of going. All right, man. I think that that's pretty much... That's not what we want to do. I think that that's pretty much it. Let's go over here to the work order. Oh, I missed some brackets. Okay, brackets. Oh, you wily little brackets trying to get away from me. That would be pretty bad if we forgot to put on the brackets. I think we would, uh, I think we would have to cover that under warranty, man. I'm not even sure what would happen. But uh, maybe maybe the thing would derail again. This poor conductor. That'd be like the second derail in a day. I'd feel really bad for this guy. And then I would probably get ruthlessly sued. And the last bolt goes in. And that should be that, boys. Right over here. Yep. There we go. And we got a big bonus for the low cost. That was two grand on that one. I'm pretty happy, man. The train pulls out looking good. Plus maybe a couple of scratches on the old sidewalls there. But no big deal. All right, we're set. What's the next job? What's the next job? I'm ready, man. Let's go. Let's go back over to the office. Have you ever been so happy to work? Isn't that incredible? That like these these simulators basically are simulating someone's job, and we love them. Oh man, look at this. We've got a whole bunch. Hold on here. Five, six, or seven. We can take them in any order. Locomotive was damaged. The rear truck is damaged and requires urgent repair. The locomotive drove over something lying on the tracks. The front truck of the wheel set axle requires serving, servicing. Or number uh, seven here, the locomotive stopped on the tracks and cannot move. It appears that there is a problem with the traction motors. All right, let's do number five for right now. We'll see if we can go ahead and take care of this one real quick. And then maybe next time we'll go out and tow another. Oh, Man, here I was thinking this was going to be a simple job. Oh, there's eight parts shot. You got to be kidding me. Well, I think I found where most of the shot part uh, parts are. Holy crap. Um, Yeah, this is... I think this is going to be a problem. I think we got some... Yep, springs are shot. How about the axle box? Axle box is shot. These axle boxes look okay. How about the piston connector? That looked pretty bad. Yep, sure was. Let's go ahead and take another look right here. Uh, This dampener... I'll bet. Yep. Dampener's bad. Uh, the hydraulic brake piston looks okay, I think. Yeah, it is. So, how about that brake piston probably looks okay. Let's go ahead and move around the back side here. Oh, hold on. That Okay, that axle box is connected over there. So, it's going to be this axle box as well. Yep. I think these hydraulic brake hoses are looking pretty rusted out, man. And they are. Um, we'll check these ones as well, just because I want to, yeah, okay, good. I just wanted to make sure, that'd be weird if, uh, if I didn't check the other ones when I know this set is, like, completely screwed over. Over here, I'm looking at a hydraulic piston connector also busted down. This dampener is looking like crap as well. There we go. What else do we got? What else do we got? All right, I think that that's gonna be it. And it is. Okay, so we are taking all kinds of stuff off here, boys. Oh, wow. Um, all right, first things first. The hydraulic brake hoses can go ahead and come off. And I think that they, they slip right off. Oh, yeah, it slips right off, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So how about this hydraulic piston connector here? It looks like we're going to have to take off both of the hydraulic brake pistons. And there goes the first one. No problem. Let's go ahead and grab the second one here. Yep, a couple of bolts up here. And then the piston connector should come right off. Let's see here. All right, that should... Oh, one right over here. There we go. 
And now the piston connector, four bolts, and we will have this one free. Man, this train is jacked up. I wonder if eventually you get trains that are just like, like everything is screwed on it. Let's go ahead and start dealing with this axle box over here. Dampener has to come off first, so let's go ahead and remove that. And I think that the axle box can come right off after that. Not sure if we have to remove the springs or anything. Uh, nope, just two big bolts for the axle box. Here we go. Yep, right up in there. Very good. Swinging around this side, we've got the steel and rubber springs held in by two gigantic bolts. That's coming off down here back by the axle box. We're going to have to take this dampener off. And I've been pretty lucky so far. All the parts that are shot are connected to each other. Um, except for the, the hydraulic brake pistons, I'm pretty sure. I think I might even be using the names of everything right, guys. You got to give me some credit for that, man. You guys that have been around the channel for a while know that uh, <laughs> Old Gray has never been the best when it comes to... Oh, we got to take the brake hose off. Has never been the best when it comes to vehicular nomenclature and vocabulary linguistics. There we go. This, uh, that brake, hydraulic brake piston comes off. This one over here. And I think, I think that that's our last bit if I am thinking about this correctly once we take this dampener off. There may be one more dampener over here by the truck. I'm not 100% sure. Or the axle. Let's go ahead and remove this. There she goes. All right. What else? Do we have anything else? Uh, everything looking good. And okay, good. That should be pretty much everything. You can see I tested a couple of things over there. So we do have some hydraulics that we're dealing with here. Uh, a lot of mechanic stuff, though. So we can repair the axle box and all kinds of things. The hoses are going to have to go over by the hydraulic area. So we have no problem repairing most of this except for those axle boxes. Um, and I'm really curious. Hold on. This is five grand over here for this. What does it cost to repair the hydraulic brake pistons? Oh, man, the hydraulic brake pistons are, like, cheap. The hoses, however, are expensive. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, I guess we'll deal with this stuff real quick. Let's repair the stuff that we can repair at 100% right now. There we go. A couple of parts right there. We can get these rubber springs. The springs were, like, the very first thing that we were able to repair in the game. So I knew we wouldn't have any trouble with that. Uh, we don't need to do... Let's see here. Ah! The hydraulic brake piston connector. We are going to have to repair that as well. Let's go ahead and throw one of those on there. And then these axle boxes are going to need a better skill set. So let's go ahead and grab let's go ahead and grab some more skill real quick. We can go do that. Improve the workshop. I'm pretty sure we have some cash. We sure do. Another mechanics upgrade. You can say we still have 1850 bucks. So that money we can probably use to uh, spend on the hydraulics workbench. All right, let's go ahead and repair this in. 100% chance on that. Looking good, looking good. Over here, another 100% chance. Man, we are set, baby. We are set. All we have to do now is the dampeners and the brake piston stuff. So let's go ahead and head over here, get all that working. Let's see here, 93%. We don't need to repair any of that. Okay, so this is good. We can repair this at 100%. Excellent. The part is fully functional. Do this one as well. Wow, 3,000, man. 3,000 for that. Man, this account should be thanking me big time. And this is weird. You guys notice, did we, didn't we only have 66% on a few of these before? I feel like we did. But now everything seems to be good to go. Um, I don't remember putting extra points into the hydraulic workbench. Well, whatever. All right, boys. Let's go ahead and put them on down here. All right, piston connector. You've got a job to do. And it's make gray tons and tons of money. Let's go throw on our... We'll throw on the brake pistons up in here. We've got four of them, I think, that we had to take off. Uh, yeah, the two on both sides. So let's go ahead and put that down. There we go. Next hydraulic brake piston going in. And it's going in nice and smooth. You don't want to put it in fast, guys. You want to you wanna put it in slow until you get enough experience. Then you can start putting it in a little bit faster. Hydraulic brake hose. Train experience, guys. Train experience. Come on, boys. You know. Over here by the axle box. Let's throw this girl on. There we go. And two big bolts. To finish that up, dampener has to go on as well. Did anyone ever think that putting together train parts would be quite so raunchy? <laughs> you must be new to the channel. All right, let's go ahead and move over here on this side. Uh, center it up. Hold on now. Center it up. There we have it. That's what I'm talking about. 
I gotta tell you, the parts are going, everything's going in a lot faster than it came out, isn't it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Now that we know where most of this stuff is, I really think that our train career is going to be taken off. But, man, I still want to go over to the, uh, I still want to do some, like, electric trains and stuff like that. Like, some of the crazy trains. Well, that's not the Ozzy Osbourne stuff. But just some of the other trains that we haven't really messed with yet. I don't know if you have to, I've traveled over there and, like, nothing happened. Like, my train wouldn't go into the depot. So I'm wondering if you have to do so many diesel things before you begin to unlock the steam stuff or if you have to complete all of the diesel things before you unlock the steam and the electric stuff. I'm very curious about that. And in fact, I'm wondering what, like, order they come in in. Like, do the diesel ones, well, obviously the diesel ones come first, but do the, does the steam come next? I really don't know. Um, okay, are these all of the parts? I think they are. Yep, we can go ahead and finish the order. Let's go climb off the old train here. In fact, you know what? Hold on. There we go. Let me throw the body on so it's looking nice and crisp for you boys. I'm going to tell you what, too. The green on yellow, I like that color. I like this right here. All right. Back to the work order. And finish the order. We got bonuses for all parts. That is excellent. And the green beast slowly pulls out of the workshop another day on the job boys and another day making that big money real quick we'll go back over here just to see if a new order has come in we've got two more over here and that looks like it for right now but look at this remember we have 25 orders on the diesel side so don't let it be said that there's not enough to do man holy god so we are gonna definitely try i'm gonna definitely try to go over to the steam and the electric probably off camera and if we can do that we're gonna go try and do it boys hope you're enjoying train and mechanic simulator 2017 until next time stay foxy much love <laughs>